Just into our newsroom, a local middle school bringing back masks because of a slight increase in COVID cases. All right, so Fox 13's Brian Flores is in Renton right now with more on this situation. Hi, Brian. Hi guys. Yeah, so here in a Dibbent Middle School, technically an unincorporated Seattle, but it is part of the Renton School District. Uh, students and staff uh, are being asked to wear masks once again because of a uh, slight risk in COVID cases. So to talk more about that, I got Randy Matheson. He's a district sp uh, spokesperson for the Renton School District. Randy, thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, give us an update on the situation here in terms of Dibbent Middle School. What, what's going on? Well, we've been uh, testing students with parent permission uh, ongoing at all of our schools and what we've seen here at Dimmit is an increase in um, uh, COVID cases and working with Public Health uh, Seattle and King County, uh, we've it's been determined that they've, they've strongly recommended we return to masking at this school. Okay, so how many cases are we talking about and how many students total here at the school? Right, right now we have uh, 38 total cases here at Dimmit. That's throughout the month of April. So for the full month, we've reached about 38 cases uh, at a school with about 650 students. Okay. What is, um, I know you work with, uh, you know, King County Public Health on, on, on situations like this, as with most schools, but what is the threshold for the district to say, okay, this is way too many cases? Is it 35 cases throughout the month? What is that threshold? It's really uh, determined by the school district. So as we're testing students, as we're seeing an increase, uh, we uh, continue working with Public Health Seattle and King County, and together we make a determination whether or not we want to uh, increase our protocols at school. Because again, we're continuing to do lots of the uh, COVID protocols that have been in place now for two years, cleaning, sanitizing, distance, and those kinds of things. Do we know how long masks are going to be a part of this equation? Is it going to be for the rest of the week? Do you even know that? We are, we, as we continue to test, it's going to be determined. So again, the, most of that determination falls on the, uh, the district as we work with Seattle Public Health. Uh, but um, right now, we're going to continue testing, uh, and hopefully what we see is a drop in cases, and we'll make the determination about masks here in uh, a, a few days. Okay. Uh, and uh, w w are there any other schools that are maybe on the, th the, the threshold of perhaps getting back to masking at this point? Are there any other schools affected by this? Currently, no. Well, we don't have any additional schools that we see that uh, show this kind of spike. But again, we're testing on a regular basis at school with parent permission. So it, it could increase. And, and again, here at Demet, we could see a, 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 a significant decrease over just a couple of days. So. And again, parents are notified when? Uh, we um, worked this out with public health yesterday. Uh, they strongly recommended we return to mask uh, here at uh, Demet. Uh, and we notified uh, parents and staff yesterday. Uh, Randy Matheson, spokesperson for the Renton School District. Appreciate your time. Uh, so that is the situation here at Dimmit Middle School, uh, one of the only schools here uh, that we know of in the state that is returning to masking because of a recent uh, yet small spike in COVID cases. I uh, will bring you more throughout the morning, but for now, uh, live here in the Renton School District, I'm Brian Flores, Fox 13 News. Back over to you.